Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use one of our client's hard drive as an example to talk about how to swap the PCB board to rescue a hard drive. This is a Seagate Barracuda 3TB hard drive. The picture on the left, you can see something happened to the PCB board. Let us take a close look to see what really happened to the PCB board. The picture shows there is something like grease on a SATA connector. The connector kind of burned with the grease, oil or something. After taking off the board, we can see some more oil or grease-like thing is inside of the board. The main CPU and other chips are contaminated as well. This picture shows the PCB board number. We are going to use this PCB board number to find a donor board to rescue this hard drive. Every hard drive PCB board has a PCB board number as its identification. We normally use this PCB board number as a reference to find the donor board. Every brand name hard drive, PCB board, and uh, different family PCB board, the PCB board number are different. And the, the location of the PCB board is different as well. Uh, some of the PCB board number on the edge of the board, some number on the, in the middle of the board, some number even inside of the board. Uh, if the board number is inside of the board, you have to take off the board. Then you can see the board, board number, and read the number. And uh, most of the PCB board number are very tiny, pretty hard to see and read. Uh, for other PCB board number, how to read them, where to find them, and uh, how about uh, the PCB board compatibility, uh, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com. And in our website, we list almost all the brand name Hydra PCB board information. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. After introducing the basic knowledge of our hard drive, we are ready to talk about the PCB board on the hard drive. The PCB board is a very important part on the hard drive. It controls everything on the hard drive. The hard drive transfers all the information through the PCB board. The PCB board sits outside of a hard drive without any protection. Most of the hard drive heat is generated from the PCB board, especially from the motor chip and the main chip. The chips on the PCB board are extremely high integrated by many microelectronic devices such as resistors, capacitors, transistors. And also, this technology is called as SMD, that means surface mount technology. There are many reasons to cause the PCB board not working properly. So, we are going to talk how to fix PCB board to rescue a hard drive. One of the best, easy, and quick solution to fix the PCB board is to swap the PCB board. In order to swap a PCB board, the first step is to find a donor board. In order to find a compatible donor board, we have to know the compatibility of the PCB board. 
for this model hard drive, we use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number to find a compatible donor board. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of this PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, 
if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.